folks, my next guest tonight is one of the most popular comedians in France. Please welcome Gad Elmaleh. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. It's great to be here. Uh, yes, I just moved to America. Uh, yeah, perfect timing. <laughs> I have an accent, I think you've noticed, right? But you guys understand me now? Thank you. Not everybody does here in America, especially in New York. They don't have time. And sometimes I feel like if I mispronounce one letter, that's it. There's no second chance. I jumped in a cab the other day here in New York City, and I said to the driver, please take me to GFK Airport. Can you believe this guy had no idea what I was talking about? <laughs> I said, sir, how many places do you know in New York City that has an F and K and an airport in their name? <laughs> I mean, I didn't come up with TTB or QPN or whatever. And even if I did, come on, meet me halfway, you know? <laughs> If I was a cab driver and you asked me to take you to KFC Airport, I'd take you to JFK Airport. <laughs> and not only because I know they've got a KFC at JFK, <laughs> because I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna guess this is where you wanna go. Come on, guys, let's imagine you come to France, Paris to visit. You're lost, you're in the street, you come up to me and, I mean, I won't stop, but imagine. <laughs> And you're lost, and you mix up the name of something. Yeah, we're Americans. We're looking for the iPhone tower. <laughs> I'm going to guess. I'm going to help you. I'm not going to be like, what? You mean Apple Store of Paris? No. <laughs> anyway, so make a long story short, this cab driver kept correcting my accent, and he was Indian. I said, sir, we're both immigrants, right? We should be helping each other. And by the way, you maybe got this J thing right in JFK, but you said Erput. <laughs> Touché, right? <laughs> French word, by the way. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's incredible, those guys. But I respect them. They work hard. I don't know also what kind of a phone plan those guys use. <laughs> I mean, they can talk for hours on the phone. They're always on, I think it's a very specific phone plan where it's free if it's a monologue. <laughs> They're always on the phone with another guy who apparently never says anything. <laughs> so you're sitting in the back and you just hear this little voice. <laughs> Poor guy on the other end must be trying. <laughs> and if you don't know he's on the phone, you think he talks to you, right? You get closer. What? No, I'm on the phone. <laughs> so it's new to me, right? I'm new here, and so many things are new to me. For example, I didn't know that comedians here in America, they don't do an encore when they finish the show, right? You know encore, another French word for you. Encore is, you know, you guys, musicians, you do encore like you finish the show, and you walk off the stage, you pretend that's it, I'm going home, but you're hiding over there. <laughs> and then the crowd is pretending to, they want you back. Everyone is pretending. That's, that's a big, you know, hypocrisy going on here. And then you wait a little bit, then you come back, and you pretend you're so moved, and you don't believe it, oh my God. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's incredible. <laughs> but they don't do this in New York City. And I didn't know that. <laughs> I did a show last week in New York City. Finished my show, walked off the stage. I came back. They were gone. <laughs> that was hard. I'm, uh... I'm single. Um, it's a great thing when you're in New York City. Uh, I've been texting some American girls. I just get confused with some of your expressions, guys. One of these girls, I uh, said to, let's go out for a drink. She said, I'm down. <laughs> I said, all right, so let's do it uh, next time. She said, why? I said, because you're depressed. And, uh, uh. <laughs> she said, no, I'm down means I'm totally up for it. 
how am I supposed to know? I said, so you want to go out? She said, I'm in. <laughs> and this other girl, I texted. I said, let's go out. She said, would be dope. <laughs> Did you know this one? I don't know. So I asked my best friend, he's American, what does it mean, would be dope? He said, it means she's too young. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Get will be headlining Carnegie Hall in February. Get Elbow, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>